Oh my goodness. <laughs> Minnie is an amazing songwriter, amazing. Hello, my lovely, beautiful friends. It's LC. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and if you're returning, welcome back. I feel very excited and privileged today to be here with my first ever Idol comeback with Idol's latest EP, I Feel. This is also my first ever Idol album that I have ordered. However, it has not arrived yet because I am filming this two days after it came out. Normally, it takes some time, at least a couple of days, normally about a week, whenever there's a new album that comes out for it to get to me. So we will wait and see if it arrives before the end of the week. And if so, I will do an unboxing of it during my live stream tomorrow. I'm going to be answering questions, interacting with the chat live. I might have some albums to unbox. I have my BTS Dynamite Lego that I have not started building yet so maybe we'll do some lego building but it's also to celebrate 10,000 subscribers and also my birthday which is on tuesday and then last but certainly not least the stream will be in support of outright international which is an international organization that advocates for the human rights of lgbtq plus people so if you'd like to help raise some money and have a good time please join me tomorrow at 10 a.m eastern time for that live stream or if you're watching this after the fact I will put a recording of the live stream in the description if you would like to check it out. But anyways, back to the album reaction. We are going to be starting with the two music videos from this album, Queen Card and Allergy, and then we will get to lyric videos for the remaining four songs on the album, which are Lucid, All Night, Paradise, and Peter Pan. So let's get into the reaction, shall we? But before we do, please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel. One minute later. So for my beverage of the day today, I am enjoying some Simple Drop Peach Enhanced Water, which is basically just like a vitamin water, <laughs> but less expensive and Canadian. And I like this one because there's no sugar in it. Like it has a distinctly peachy flavor, but not in a way that makes like your jawbone burn, you know, when it's like so sweet. So I really, really like this. And it was $1.50 Canadian for a liter of it. Ah, so good stuff. Alrighty, so let's get into our first song of the album here, which is Queen Card. I'm excited to see what this is going to be like because it's going to set the tone for the album. So do we get something fun, something edgy, something empowering, maybe <laughs> a little bit of all three? I'm looking forward to finding out. So let's watch the music video for Queen Card. <laughs> oh man, I had one of those phones in <laughs> high school. I love the freckles so much. Ooh. I like that bass line. Ooh. Mini. <laughs> Causing a traffic accident. Oh. My beauty never stops being. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so mean, girls. My boob and booty's hot. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Twerking on the runway. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I feel like I need to stop and just... Just take a second to absorb everything that I just <laughs> that I just witnessed. Because we start off with Soyeon like at the hospital looking like she's about to get some kind of like plastic surgery done, maybe, because she's, you know, looking at the mirror, looking in the mirror and like pouting. And also I just realized that the Queen Card letters are like the burn book letters. Oh my gosh, white millennial ladies must 
freaking love this music video. And I happen to be a white millennial lady. Oh, right. Duh. And it also s <laughs> it also says plastic surgery right on the door. And then this lady is like hella impressed. And you know, many just like casually causing traffic chaos. Hey you, I'm quite sexy sexy, so you crushed on? Yeah you, what are you doing? You want my kiss kiss too? And yeah, this, this set, this bedroom gives very like Regina George's bedroom. It was my parents' room, but I made them trade me. Can you tell how many times I've seen me girls? And then shiny from head to toe, I'm sparkling. Oh ladies over there, copy my fashion. Hot girls day is fully beautiful. Oh man, this girl even has like, <laughs> <laughs> the pink jumpsuit on but the outfits kind of give more like clueless to me than mean girls if that makes sense the outfits are more like 90s and then at this like nice party you can tell that there's like jealousy between Minnie and Mian. like even the acting is so good like Mian's expression just says it all in this scene like they're like queen card I'm hot my boob and booty is hot, iconic. Spotlight, look at me, I'm a star, star, star. And then I'm <laughs> twerking on the runway, just iconic line after iconic line in this chorus. I am a queen card, you wanna be the queen card. And then it almost looks that we have like rival groups where we have like Shua and Yuki, and then there's like the other group is Mian and Minnie here, even though they kind of seem like frenemies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so who will prevail? I guess we're gonna find out. So let's keep going. Yeah. So where does? <laughs> oh, the idiot. <laughs> So where does she on fit into all of this? <laughs> She's the one that brings them together. Kind of reminds me of um, Tomboy. I was blanking there for a second. <laughs> so is she is she the Katie Heron? <laughs> Thin or thick girl, ooh. Full of confidence girl. So she's perfect just the way she is. Oh, I love that. I feel allergy. <laughs> Yay! Oh no! Oh my gosh, did I wash these out of order? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry, because I watched these in order of how they appeared on the album. So should I have watched this first? Oh no, I think I should have. Okay, well now it's gonna feel like a prequel instead. <laughs> But I love this idea of the fact that like sexiness and your queen card isn't about the way you look, it's about the way you feel and like your attitude. Like this line, wearing whatever girl, a queen card, thin or thick girl, full of confidence girl. Like it's not what's on the outside that is making you this queen card. It is from within. But like these looks feel really like <laughs> early 2000s with the like eensy weensy denim skirts and these like halter ribbon top type of things and the <laughs> the bandana on her head and the giant ass belts wow this is like so 2000s but it's all very like fever dreamy in a way because it really it, it was her dream <laughs> when she had the anesthetic about to do her surgery but now I really want to get to allergy because I want to see the origin story now see I feel like this will be unique 
this will be an interesting way <laughs> of reacting to this because I started with queen card and now I'm doing allergy. So I can see where she came from to get to where she is now. But yeah, let's get to allergy. <laughs> yeah, I love the Mean Girls letters. Oh, the Blackberry. Now defunct. I had a black a blackberry. <laughs> Not even doing any exercises. Me. You think of yourself as ugly. Ooh. <laughs> <gasps> what? Oh, uh, why? <laughs> oh, this is so heartbreaking. It's like all of their origin stories. Oh my gosh. There's, oh, I wish. Oh no, I wish I had watched this first. <laughs> huh. Mirror allergy. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. All these references. <laughs> of like, you know, this is going to fix me. <laughs> Stay a single till I die. Hmm. Oh, interesting. See, I was thinking there were parallels between Soyeon and Minnie in the last video. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. This tableau. <laughs> So it's like a world of comparison that we live in. <laughs> Their hair. Interesting. Okay. Wow. I feel like the message of this song is just like so relevant right now. More than ever, there are people who are, you know, getting plastic surgery to look more like TikTok filters. And, you know, South Korea has one of the highest rates of plastic surgery in the world. So there's this like huge pressure to conform and to, you know, want to look as pretty as an idol or that like your value value and your worth is through your appearance and you know where they're bringing us to in this moment in time is you know when there were blackberries and flip phones and it was almost like the inception of instagram and all those kinds of apps where i feel so lucky <laughs> that those apps did not exist when i was a teenager only facebook and twitter were around when i was a teenager so like i just feel for teenagers and young people especially young women who are growing up with Instagram right now because you're just constantly comparing yourself to someone else of, you know, I'm not as pretty as this girl who's, you know, an Instagram model and has probably had like plastic surgery to make herself look even better because it is her job to look good. And so there are these just insanely unfair standards that we as women often will hold ourselves to, especially when the value and what we bring to the world, unless like I said, your literal job involves being beautiful, then like that is not your 
only <laughs> thing that you bring to the table. It's not your value. Or it's like, what's wrong? Not even doing any exercises, not even knowing how to put any makeup on. Every night in search tab, am I the only one without Chanel? Where it's just like, if you see everybody else looking a certain way, or you know, you see the prettiest of the pretty on Instagram, you think like, oh, why don't I look like that? But it's like everyone always puts the best version of themselves on their Instagram. There's no like, oh, check out this giant zit I got today or like, oh, check out my double chin. Like, no. <laughs> I mean, if there are people who are out there posting that, like kudos, power to them. But, you know, 95% of people want to put their best foot forward and seem like their lives are amazing and perfect. But based on the amount of people who have TikToks that they like, that is like my anxiety dancing until my morning, like I feel like most people feel that way. But you know, these lines, why ain't I pretty? Why ain't I lovely? Why am I me? Like tell me a girl or a woman who hasn't thought that about herself at some point in her life. And we're almost conditioned to like point out the things that we don't like about ourselves where, you know, we'll get 10 compliments, but then hear one maybe snarky comment in passing. And it's that comment that we will focus on and not the 10 compliments. So you develop a mirror allergy. You don't even want to look like I don't like the way I look without makeup on. It's the reason why I never post a video <laughs> without makeup. I feel like I look like a 12 year old boy without makeup, but my husband, bless his heart, will tell me how <laughs> he thinks that I'm prettier without makeup, but I just, I just don't believe him. It's hard to like internalize those things when your own voice can be so harsh but you know like even the prettiest people <laughs> have problems like it kind of seems like based on this scene that many might be kind of like lonely at the top if you know what I mean or clearly she's she's going through something but of course you don't see that side of people because they don't let you see it because you know immediately it's back to Minnie being the epitome of fitness where she could be running her own spin class and then Mian's trying to get to that point I just saw her shirt that said good pussy, but there appears to be a cat on it. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. And then in this letter that Soyan has written to herself, it says how to be a queen. Step one, be pretty. Step two, sexy lips and hips. I can't quite see step three, but it looks like something to do with lingerie. And she throws the note in a paper airplane, but then it doesn't make it into the operating room. So it's almost like her subconscious <laughs> rejecting that premise. So yeah, uh, I love, 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 love the message of this music video. And then, you know, subsequently Queen Card being the response to this song, which is interesting to me why they decided to put it in the reverse order on the album. If anyone knows why, <laughs> let me know. But okay, let's now get to our B-sides here, starting with lucid so when I hear lucid I think of something kind of dreamy and ethereal or maybe even something like creepy if it's about <laughs> dreams so with those pretty like peppy and upbeat songs that we just got I wonder if we kind of slow the energy down a little bit here so let's get into lucid Okay, many. <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> Oof. I believe not on our 
obviously much more overtly sexy <laughs> in this one. So they fully evolved from allergy. It won't hurt you. <laughs> I feel you, baby. Oh, that is so just like. I think I like this song the most so far. <laughs> and I like these higher register vocals. You don't have to ask me twice, Sarian. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> so we pivoted here from Allergy. But yeah, just from the jump, making their intentions known with Minnie saying, I believe if it turns into this night, I will get to know your fantasy. Take a sip, don't you doubt, you'll see a whole new world, baby. And then just them talking about how they will pull things out of you that you didn't know that you wanted. Like, I know the things that you like, surely you hid it deeply inside. Like, oh, like you might groan with your voice like a very pained beast. Oh. <laughs> Moving on, like I love how seamlessly they can just go from one song to the next of the meaning completely shifting of like both Queen Card and Allergy being kind of tongue in cheek, but then this song just like pulling you right into this like deep <laughs> trance, getting pulled into their spell like with La Ta Ta. Yeah, I just dig it. I dig it. Okay, this reaction is taking me forever. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm just belaboring the point with some of these songs, but <laughs> let's keep going. Let's go to All Night next. So, you know, this could be interpreted in a similar way to Lucid of doing something in particular all night. Who knows? Maybe we're not going there. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. So this one is by Yuki. And also I just noticed that Lucid was by Minnie. And also Paradise is by Minnie too. But okay, so keep that in mind that this song is by Yuki. So let's listen to All Night. Hmm. Is this going to be darker? Or ballad? Okay, not a ballad. <laughs> Ooh, but I like that beat. Hmm. 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 Ooh. I love her voice in this. Ooh, and those guitars. And the chorus is in English. That's pretty cool. Yeah, all these songs on this album are so freaking catchy so far. <laughs> I love that I can already sing along to this. And I just want to...
I want to twerk on the runway. <laughs> hmm. But in a way, this does kind of give like early 2000s pop song. With those guitars and the beat too. Ooh, that was a fun song. This whole album is just like such a bop, seriously. I just feel like the bass line is on point <laughs> for this whole album. And the song really just gives off like bad bitch energy. Like red jacket and smoky eyes, drink up a glass. A wild messy hairstyle shines a different light. And it also gives like, I don't give a shit, I'm just gonna have fun and I don't care at all. <laughs> about anything other than dancing all night especially with Soyeon's part of never giving you my number babble all you want make more rumors you're not the type that suits me without me you're nothing like oh third degree burns like I feel like this would be an awesome song for like a slumber party you know <laughs> like it makes me think back to those days those the early 2000s for me were full of slumber parties although at the time it was like you know pink and like Backstreet Boys. <laughs> so this was like such a fun, groovy song to throw into the mix. But okay, next we have Paradise and we are back to a mini song here. So with this song, are we going to like bring down the intensity <laughs> a little bit? Because so far we've got like four really upbeat like bangers. So it feels like a natural point in the album maybe where the energy comes down a little bit and I don't still have a very good sense for you know what kinds of songs that Mini writes compared to Soyeon compared to Yuki still trying to get a handle on that so let's listen next to Paradise Ooh. very like guitar heavy album <laughs> This is so pretty. You'll shine until it's dazzling. Oh. I see the always in you. Oh my gosh, the song is so sweet. Oh. Oh. I actually can't handle this. It's so sweet. Like everything about this. And the instrumental is like so dreamy. I think this is my favorite, I have to say. Oh, oh my goodness. Mian's voice just like does things to me. Ooh. Haven't had many Soyeon raps on this. Hmm. Feels very like honeymoon phase of a relationship, you know? I only want to sleep in your eyes. Wow. Oh. The song feels like a warm hug, you know? Oh, 
all of their voices. I can't get over it. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, I don't want this to be over. <laughs> I want to listen to this again and again and again. Like so many lines in this song are just so quotable. Minnie is an amazing songwriter, amazing. Like I see the oasis in you. All the pain I have in my memories fades. My own paradise every time I look. <laughs> Oh, those angel eyes. And this line, the feeling of anesthesia. I can't feel such things as wounds right now. And it's almost like this glow of the relationship that you have. There's no such thing as pain because I'm just like riding a, <laughs> riding a high. And you're my paradise. My delight is only the moment when we're together. Oh, I definitely remember that feeling of like when you're beginning in a relationship and all you want to do is just like be with that person and hang out with that person and talk to that person. And it feels like a dream drug <laughs> almost this song just oh it just captures that feeling so well with the lyrics with the instrumental with their vocals like everything is just so like angelic and gorgeous and stunning like ah but yeah definitely definitely my favorite song on this album so far but who knows maybe our next song peter pan <laughs> will manage to top paradise for me so for peter pan it looks like it was composed by yuki and then lyrics were by soyeon and yuki <laughs> and the sun has now gone down so <laughs> my youtube has gone black so you know with a song called peter pan is this going to be maybe a bit more like dreamy and childlike it'd be an interesting way to end the album with that vibe so let's listen to our final song here which is peter pan oh <laughs> yes <laughs> very childlike in that there's literal sounds from a playground <laughs> Oh. Okay, it went away. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is very like childlike. <laughs> well, I don't personally feel like an oversized child sometimes. <laughs> this is so cute. <laughs> sure, yeah. Hmm. I was a daughter that wasn't much. <laughs> but I definitely get that of like, I'm an adult. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm an adult as much as I wish I wasn't. <laughs> I think Mian has some of my favorite vocals in the group. <laughs> this is such a nice way to end the album. <laughs> Of embracing the youthful spirit of this album. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh, my face hurts. <laughs> oh, this was such a delightful album. Oh my goodness. And I just realized like the, the title I feel kind of just like sunk in with me of this such like youthful vibe that really like enveloped this whole album where it's like, when I'm young and youthful, like I do what I feel like. And so that really does like capture the essence of all six of these songs where they're all about different things, but embrace the spirit of like youthfulness. Is that a word? But you know, <laughs> I feel this line the most of patience is too difficult. I guess my heart didn't grow up. Patience, who is she? I feel that because I feel like when I was younger, I had the excuse of <laughs> <laughs> I was young in order to get away with certain behaviors, but now I have no excuse. I have to be responsible, especially when, you know, in a couple years I'll have a child. That'll be even more terrifyingly <laughs> adult of me. But I feel like that's one of the reasons why I love K-pop so much is because there's just such a youthful spirit to all of it. And this album just like fully embraced that. So I would love to know your thoughts on this album. Like if you had a favorite song here and I'm surprised for me that it wasn't the title track normally for me it's almost always <laughs> title tracks that are my favorite but yeah paradise for sure took the cake for me but tell me your thoughts in the comments i would absolutely love to hear them so friends thank you so so much for joining me for this reaction i hope you enjoyed it and i want to give a special thank you to my patrons for making all of my videos happen my patrons have access to exclusive weekly reactions including multiple idol reactions i have on my patreon at this point as well as access to behind the scenes content and my youtube schedule for the month and then my five dollar patrons have early access to my youtube videos the ability to vote on the content of a youtube video once per month and a shout out at the end of every single one of my YouTube videos. So an extra special thank you to my $5 patrons who are Abby, Isaiah Life, Catherine W, Catherine H, Christina, Chris Mary R, Desiree, MJN, Aaron M, Grace T, Hide Stuff, Hope to Dust, Jennifer O, Kirsten, Kit Kat, Chris M, Kulisek, Leah B, Miriam S, Notando Stamper, Raindrop, Sandy W, Sophia S, and Vicos. If you would like to help support my channel and enjoy some exclusive content, then you can visit me at patreon.com slash Lauren Claire. But until my next video, I hope you are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourself, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.